Wombat Stew by Marcia K. Vaughn and Pamela Lopes. Now let's look at the cover page and see if any of the pictures here match the title that we just read, Wombat Stew. Can you see a wombat or some stew? Yes, we can see a wombat hidden in a basket. I wonder if that's what the title is referring to when it says Wombat Stew. What else can we see on the page? We can see a dingo carrying the wombat stew. And right there in the right corner, we can see an echidna. Does the echidna look happy or angry? What is it pointing at? So now we know what the title Wombat Stew refers to. Why do you think the dingo is holding the wombat in the basket? Where does the echidna fit in? Let's begin reading the book to find out. Wombat Stew One day, on the banks of a billabong, a very clever dingo caught a wombat. and decided to make Wombat stew, wombat stew, gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy, wombat stew. Platypus came ambling up the bank. G'day, Dingo, he said, snapping his bill. What is all that water for? I'm brewing up a gooey, chewy stew. With that fat wombat, replied Dingo with a toothy grin. If you ask me, said Platypus, the best thing for a gooey stew is mud. Big blobs of billabong mud. Blobs of mud? Dingo laughed. What a good idea. Radio. In they go. So Platypus scooped up big blobs of mud with his tail and tipped them into the billy can. Around the bubbling billy, Dingo danced and sang. Wombat stew, wombat stew. Gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy, wombat stew. Waltzing out from the shade of the iron barks came Emu. She arched her grateful neck over the brew. Oh no, Dingo, she fluttered. What have we here? Gooey, chewy, wombat stew, boasted Dingo. If only it were a bit more chewy, she signed. But don't worry, a few feathers will set it right. Feathers, Dingo smiled. That would be chewy. Radio, in they go. So into the gooey brew, Emu dropped her finest feathers. Around and around the bubbling billy, Dingo danced and sang. Wombat stew, wombat stew, crunchy, munchy, for my lunchy, wombat stew. Old Blue Tongue the Lizard came sliding off his sun-soaked stone. Silly Dingo, he hissed, there are no flies in the stew. Can't be wombat stew without crunchy flies in it. And he stuck out his bright blue tongue. There's a lot to be said for flies, agreed Dingo, rubbing his paws together. Radio, in they go. So Lizard snapped 100 flies from the air with his long tongue and flipped them into the gooey, chewy stew. Around and around and around the bubbling billy, Dingo danced and sang. Wombat stew, wombat stew, crunchy munchy for my lunchy wombat stew. Ah, 
Up through the red dust popped Echidna. Wait a bit, not so fast, he bristled, shaking the red dust from his quills. Now I've been listening to all this advice, and take it from me, for a munchy stew, you need slugs and bugs and creepy crawlies. Dingo wagged his tail. Why, I should have thought of that. Radio, in they go. So Echidna dug up all sorts of creepy crawlies and dropped them into the gooey, chewy, crunchy stew. The very clever Dingo stirred and stirred, all the while singing. Wombat stew, wombat stew, hot and spicy, oh so nicey, wombat stew. Just then, the sleepy-eyed koala climbed down from the squibbly gum tree. Look here, he yawned. Any bush cook knows you can't make a spicy stew without gum nuts. Leave it to a koala to think of gum nuts, Dingo laughed and licked his whispers. Radio, in they go. And into the gooey, chewy, crunchy, munchy stew, koala shook lots and lots of gum nuts. Aha! cried Dingo. Now my stew is missing only one thing. What's that? asked the animals. That fat wombat! Wait! Stop! Hang on, Dingo! You can't put that wombat into the stew yet! Why not? You haven't tasted it. Radio, I'll taste it. And that very clever Dingo bent over the billy and took a great, big slurp of stew. He howled, you've all tricked me. And he dashed away deep into the bush, never again to sing. Wombat stew, wombat stew, gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy, wombat stew.